what is up you guys welcome back to my channel i am um it's been a minute hey and my voice is sounding a little <laughs> a little bit off but listen it is what it is all right i'm gonna take these off because it's just not gonna work all right guys i'm coming at you guys bare-faced but i've been having questions so i think it's time i just answered a lot of you guys' questions oh my paper's falling down i think it's just time i was saying i just answered a lot of you guys' questions so a lot of you guys have been asking me sine what's the deal with coming back on ships during the pandemic how does that work all right first of all I highly suggest getting your passport ready because these companies are replying to people very quickly, right? Um, they're replying to people very quickly. They need you guys to pretty much be ready when they're accepting that offer. They're going to accept the offer. You have one or two interviews. It depends on your department, right? I keep informing you guys, I strictly and only work for the entertainment, specifically in the youth and uh, youth camp departments so um the first thing you're gonna need is a passport all right Ugh, my skin buckling wow you're going to need a passport right and thereafter uh you, you can uh you can get the visa once they've accepted you and sent you a there's a letter that they send you which grants you permission to go and apply for a c1d visa right now some countries they only let you do a C1 and a C, I mean, a D visa, which are two separate uh, visas. But in South Africa, you get a C1 D visa. Uh, now, some embassies may offer you a B2 visa for free. Like if you just ask for it, they might just put it in. But in others, they probably will not. Um, and you might have to pay extra for the B2 visa. B2 is a um, tourist visa. I don't have it. I didn't have time to ask for it. I was just like, you know what? Let's just keep it moving. And for me, I didn't have to do a visa again this time around because the previous visa I was given was not just for one to two years. I believe it was five years, which I was very lucky. Um, because I only have to renew it sometime late next year. Now, another piece of document you're going to need is a police clearance. Let me just check if I have mine. You're going to need a police clearance, right? Um, people tend to take that thing very lightly. My darling, get that police clearance going before they even ask for it. I keep all my documents in this file. Um, this is just my ID. I like to keep it right over there. This is the file I keep pretty much all my important documents. Now, a police clearance looks like this. Well, it depends on your country, but in South Africa, your police clearance. Yikes, where is it? All right. Your police clearance is going to look something like i'm just trying to find there we go all right it's going to look like this it's going to tell you a certain thing your transaction number date of birth blah 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 basic details about you and then it certifies that this is to certify that no convictions have been recorded for any crimes in the republic of south africa against said person which would then be me my id number etc etc um, and then it would get stamped and all of that would then show its approval it generally lasts for six months um, some companies will say a police clearance within a year period some will be three months some will be six months this one i believe is for six months unless the company asks for a new one um, a police clearance you guys it will make you wait okay so make sure you're getting that done first um, so that by the time they give you all these documents or like as soon as you send the application send the application for that police clearance I promise you it takes a while um, it shouldn't take a while but the police services we're working with in our country are not the most efficient unfortunately 
and I say this with my tongue bitten because a lot of my family works for the police but because the truth is the truth um what else do you need let me just check all right um if it's your first time they might ask for like high school documents like your matric um if you don't have a varsity degree so this is my let me just find my id again this is my matric certificate over here it pretty much just asks oh you are just gonna get my number like that what the hell right this is that it's got your name surname all that i think we all in america and other countries it might be uh considered a high school diploma i believe i'm just checking my time guys because i need to be at work in the next 30 something minutes all right um you're going to need a high school diploma or your matric certificate um you put all of that in the application process or once they ask you to forward um x amount of documents then depending on your qualifications they may ask for those as well for me i have a ba degree in psychology and tosa and then i also those were my two majors and i have minors in english uh music uh sociology can't remember what else um and then i also have a postgrad certificate in teaching so my pgce and i am says registered which is the south african council for um educators uh so i am also qualified i mean registered with that um uh the organization now <clears throat> once they accept you they approve your application yes you may come cool that's great right consider this you've already got the police clearance in the work you've got your transcripts you've got this etc etc next thing you're going to need your vaccines you guys right um again my id document in south africa you might get it in a little card like this uh it's just a little vaccine card so my first two were both pfizer um i just got those two pfizer um vaccines and then if you don't have the booster yet they will give you a booster once you get on board if you only have one dose and you won't have had the second dose by the time you come they will give you a second dose on board as well so until you finish all your doses they will give it to you trust me they will make sure you are getting all your covid boosters and doses now aside from all those other documents right i'm just trying to find this list i made there are a list of other medicals that you're going to need right they generally i keep them in a pack like this and my doctor sent me a list because luckily the doctor i was working with didn't need me to travel to the country first i mean to the city first before just conducting all medicals i could get all the medicals done at home in east london and then once i got to johannesburg i could just provide her with all those different documents and then she would do the final step in the medical form you're gonna get a form like this ids crew ID. yeah you're gonna get a form like this right um it's just got the stuff at the top seafarer's medical certificate it's like seven pages of medicals literally you're filling in everything about you all right it's about seven pages yeah seven pages of a full medical and on page five or whatever your doctor is where they start to fill in the extra things they go over if you say you were hospitalized within the last six months they want to know what were you hospitalized for was it detrimental are you still on medication if you are on medication you need to declare what that medication was you know so that they aren't taking a sickly person on board um not sickly in the manner that you might get sick easy but they mean like life-threatening illnesses you know because it's not going to help the company or benefit them to hire someone for example who is dealing with like terminal cancer or leukemia and things like that 
it's not that they're being discriminative but it's not going to be a conducive environment for you you will be expected to work every day very few departments get an off day but for the most part you will be expected to literally show up to work every single day now um once you get all these medicals done what are some of the medicals that you're going to need right once you get the list of the medicals your doctor you're gonna need to run blood tests your blood tests are going to require a lot and it's not cheap i'm not gonna lie to you guys it doesn't come in cheap um you have to pay for all of these things none of it is cheap none of it is free i'm so sorry to say all right what is this one first this is a medical so i got two medical i mean two blood works done because the first time i didn't realize that there were extra blood works i needed to get done so i went back and got more so the first one i paid for was let's see how much it was this one is is this from the empath st james yeah so this one was 708 rand i remember i got a discount on this one because um i was paying cash so it was 700 and something and this one has only got three blood tests on it hepatitis a and a again for something else and then you have oh, guys my id and then hepatitis c right that was 700 for just three blood tests right then i needed to get this one for what i have no idea what i paid 400 for oh no this one was a thousand basically a thousand four hundred right one thousand four hundred rand this one was the longer list of medicals i believe i have that result here somewhere it was quite a long one it came in like four pages or something yeah i think that one was this one the cumulative here so i needed to get all of these done it came to about a thousand four hundred right uh the only issue with mine was that my iron levels were very low um I, i've always had low iron levels so i had to work on that and then there's a 400 i paid for something but i don't know what it was for oh this 400 that's 420 rand i paid for my radiology i mean not radiology but my scan a my x-rays chest x-rays so i had to get my chest x-rays um a full blood count whatever thing um i had to so for the x-rays i paid 420 for my blood work it was 1400 plus 708 so 710 basically so that's 2100 ish um and then for my dentist dental appointment i literally just needed a doctor's letter saying my teeth are in good condition for working environment they won't give me like life-threatening issues etc etc just to get a basic exam and a letter i paid 300 and something um then i also needed to get an ecg these things right ecg i honestly don't remember how much it cost because the ecg as long as it's within i think a two to five year period they can still accept it so i got this one from my previous medical which definitely saved me some money right but the ecg is like the least expensive thing of this entire list then i needed that's still my ecg sinus rhythms yes then <clears throat> you're gonna need other vaccines as well i had to get um mmr is a measles vaccine also had to get a measles vaccine chicken pox in case necessary got the first and the second doses i had those luckily from previous but for my next contract i probably will be expected to get a new dose because it will have been um four to five years i believe 
um i think those are like the main medicals i had to get um yeah this is just a summary again a summative report that my whatever levels from pathology are in decent condition i'm not dying explaining pretty much what the things are um this is a covid pcr test i had to get two covid tests before i went yeah this is the antigen test and then i had to get the pcr test the antigen test they wanted this to be done no more than 24 hours before you board a flight and then the pcr test is no more than three days before you board a flight uh the pcr was 500 i believe and the antigen was 350 350 350 or 150 somewhere there but the pcr is the one like straight down the back of your nose the antigen they can just do a regular nasal swab or a throat swab um they are very specific you cannot do a throat swab and call it a pcr because this specifies all of that i got mine done at the path care if i'm going very fast guys i'm so sorry but i'm sure you can slow down the video play it on 0.75 instead of one you know <laughs> um yeah i think those are like the medicals then i had to take all of this and go over to my doctor in johannesburg i was with dr gianni yes berenice gianni and for the whole consultation uh because she had to do a cumulative like explain everything we had to go through the papers why i was hospitalized within the last five to ten years if i've had any dental work um am i blind i wear glasses but like how severe is it had to do an eye x-ray had to run a urine test um there was something else i just can't remember uh, i don't think i did a drug test but obviously like the urine test they automatically test for drugs sometimes so yeah um so for that i paid a thousand four hundred i believe so everything together um because it was the two thousand plus plus the thousand four hundred that's three thousand four hundred plus four twenty three thousand nine hundred i think to 3,800 ish, yeah, and then plus 300, 4,000 something. Um, I already had the ECG, thank you, thank goodness. Um, so it came to like 4,000 plus, which I find to be slightly cheaper than what I would have paid at um, another doctor i'm not gonna specify the name but you guys know where i went the last time i was in durban so that doctor in durban i remember in 2019 i had to pay five thousand something a little bit short of uh, six thousand so yeah um i did do a screw up though with the first doctor who was supposed to do it and i ended up paying for that consultation which i was so annoyed because i wasted like 500 on nothing because he ended up telling me no he doesn't know how to do it and then because i asked him blah 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 and he gave me a very small prescription for my psoriasis she was like i can't get a refund so in total i paid close to five thousand right um the vaccines are obviously free those are just standard procedure now let's see what else did i get blood work full checkup ecg x-ray vaccine pcr extra medic yeah now some of them may require you to do an audiogram that depends on your department right and hiv test and things like that hiv test is for everyone um that's just what's required for my department and um, because you work with food and children at times they're gonna require those hepatitis tests and things like that um let me just check generally the company is still paying for everyone's um what do you call this flight tickets depending on your department 
you will have to pay for it and then they reimburse you, right? Uh, hold on, guys. All right, sorry about that. So, like I was saying, depending on your department, some people have to pay for their own tickets and then the company reimburses them. Everyone gets their visa paid for by the company. Um, my department, we don't pay for anything. Uh, I paid for my visa, but then they paid it back within the first two weeks that I was here. I'm just trying to check if there's anything else I did that I don't quite remember. Oh, first aid. Now, I have a first responders uh, certificate. I have a first responders certificate, which just, it's pretty much level two to three. No, it's one and two. Level one and two, uh, first aid. And then you get a little card as well for your wallet. I don't like using my first aid um, card or services. It's scary, dog. <laughs> it's a scary time. I don't like having to be that responsible for someone else's life, you know. Um, so, yeah, you will have to get a first aid. I don't know how much this one costs, to be honest, because I wasn't paying for it. The company paid for it. I mean, the, um, the school I was at paid for it because I happened to get a job throughout that process. So, yeah. Um... Did I have to reapply for the job? No, I did not. Okay. I simply contacted my agent. It's not like an agent, but it's the like entertainment recruitment person. Her name is Sarah. In the entertainment, most of us just contact Sarah and she sends you all the information you need and things like that. First contracts, you guys are gonna have a lot more information to process. For me, it's not my first contract. I didn't have to go through things like a Marlins English proficiency test. I didn't have to do the, uh, what do you call this thing? Go through my Rose account. There's certain trainings I didn't have to redo again. Um, and also like once they accept you, they're gonna put you through this <clears throat> online training uh, on their internet. It's called Gladys. So once you go through Gladys, there's a lot of different trainings that you need to know before and once you're on the ship and throughout the traveling process. And they do expect you to complete quite a lot of those before you actually come on board. Um, and then you can do the rest of them on board. And some of them, if you don't finish it online, they will do a training with you in person, which makes it last so much longer. Um, and in the entertainment department, well, youth specifically, we tend to do some trainings a little bit more. Like we did um, special needs training. Uh, we did something to do with Culture City, but like sensory, I don't know, sensory processing and whatever, I don't know, all that. But just understanding how people with sensory um, issues might need help and how to go about helping them things like that um then we get evaluations and 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 um also a lot of you have been asking me about the stwa or stwc i think that's what it's called i don't know child but i didn't have to do that um some countries expect you to do it before you leave mine doesn't <laughs> because you come on board and you get the same training anyway so i don't understand what the point of making people do it prior is because so I understand why do you have to do it again do you understand um yeah and the traveling takes one to two days and then you depending on your department or whatever you'll be put in a hotel overnight and then a bus will come pick you up from the hotel take you to your room um, when we first came, we did work in quarantine, whereby it's illogical to me. You go to work and everything, but you get a COVID test every single day for five to six days. And you eat your meals in your room. You pick them up from what we call the family room. And then you take it to your room. You eat it there. First time, you would just get put with whoever. 
it's not the 14 day quarantine by yourself anymore because we are sailing full now with all guests and yeah another thing is that they don't do work in quarantine anymore it's just constant covid tests and then they do a lot of random covid and drug tests um alcohol and drug tests and we are expected to wear masks every day they provide us with these k95 masks k95 mask is these ones all right i'm pretty sure we all know what those ones are since i'm gonna use it anyway I'm going to work it is this mask that looks like this uh they expect us to wear this oh, these small ones to wear it every day they do not accept these at all if you wish you can just put it under your mask and then put the kn on top like this um but the company does not accept us wearing just that hence why they then provide us with the kn 95 masks like literally as soon as you come on board that's what they're doing um as you're traveling some of the airports may require you to do another covid test which sucks because you have to pay for it sometimes um and then once you get to the terminal after they pick you up from the hotel to get to the terminal you do another covid test and then the next morning you do another covid test for five or six more days like i said you do a lot of covid testing but a lot of the times it's just the antigen test and things are a lot more stricter now but yeah that's about it i don't know if there's anything i haven't covered yet um i can't think of anything um first contracts you're probably gonna have to pay the most money because you have to get a passport a visa certificates my police clearance was a hundred and something it's not that not that expensive 140 or 60 160 i think so yeah um that was pretty much that if there's anything i haven't covered guys i'm so sorry hey but like yo i can cut tell shame yo and i just came back from the beach <laughs> um anyway let me love and leave you guys i actually need to get dressed for work i am running behind um I will see you guys on the next one, which will be a lot more organized. Not like this, but you get the information. That's what matters most, okay? And people keep asking me, did you use an agent? No, I did not. Go to Carnival Cruise Lines, scroll down, go to vacancies, see whatever they have. Apply for everything, okay? If you want to work in the entertainment, Carnival Entertainment, right, .com, something like that. Carnival Entertainment. If not, just go to Carnival Cruise Lines, select the department, go down to the vacancies, it'll show you everything. That's about the most I can tell you. I don't know anything about the other departments. I genuinely don't. I'm not that interested in them. All right. Um, until then, let me love and leave you. Thank you again for tuning in. Also, can I just say, I'm so glad to have met two of my subscribers who actually got jobs and are now working with me um there is another one she's done the process of sorting out her documents my mom texted me about another one who's gonna do bar service so i am so 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 excited that these videos are actually helping you guys to understand some of the process of what you what it is you're going to need to go through anyway this is for miss camilla hello darling i hope you're doing good i'll see you downstairs <laughs> until then from my heart to yours absolutely nothing but love and light until the next one of course i break things down bye guys